Hello everybody, welcome to my messy desk. I'm Sole. <laughs> you guys, I have been so busy die cutting away. Um, I have been like going through all of my papers that I have available and selecting the colors and the patterns that I want to use for Christmas crafting. Yep, I'm doing Christmas crafting again and I am so focused on it at the moment. And I am just using all of the different dies that I have and turning them in all Christmassy magic. And I really am having so much fun. So I'm encouraging all of you guys to, instead of looking to buy more new dies or, you know, like when you buy dies, you just have them sitting in your drawer doing nothing much. But instead of doing that, before you think about buying more dies, I mean, which is always very, very tempting, Go through your dies, your existing dies, and see what kind of magic you can create. Now, I have these candy dies. So let me, I know it's like a lot on my desk, but I decided, you know what? I don't need to plan my videos. I just want to craft and I just want to share the joy of crafting, right? So let me just move a little bit to the side. I mean, I'll eventually get to show you guys all of these. So I think for... I'm not sure exactly when I got these candy dies. So it comes with the large size, the middle size, and the small size. And it also comes with like the peppermint swirl. Because I really am in love with anything peppermint. So you get all of these different sizes. And then, oh, there's one still stuck in there. I guess I could get that one out before I forget while I'm talking to you guys. So I use some mirror cardstock in red and I've also used some glitter gold cardstock. See how nice that is? Such a nice pattern. I love anything peppermint so, so much. And I wish I had the energy to seriously make a lot more peppermint candies than I've done so far. But I got to a point where I had to tell myself that I need to stop. Oh, you're probably seeing this little cute ghostie. That was actually um, part of a mug set that I got a while ago. Anyway, so I've been using the candy peppermint swirl things. And I've been cutting away. And then I've also been using my bow dies. Now, these are the bow dies I want to show you. So this one is actually part of the... I think it was KS Craft, and it was part of a spider web bow. Now, I don't know where I put that spider web part, but it, it's a bow that has one, two, and the spider web bit, and it's supposed to create like a Halloween bow, and you can layer them like this. Now, I am using this to turn it into Christmas bows, and then I'm also using this uh, bow die here. I'll show you. Now this bow was all attached like this when I got it. And I got this from AliExpress. So it came like this, right? And originally I had them all stuck together, cutting it away. Then I realized that was a really bad idea because I'm probably ending up with more colors of the things that I didn't need. So I had to separate them. And I just love the shape of this bow die so much that I have utilized it so well in many of my crafting. So I really love buying die sets that I know I'm going to be able to use over and over again. So that's what I've been using. So let me put that aside. Then I also have this one. Now this is a birthday party hat. It comes with the base. And then it comes with the top part, which I can't see anywhere on my desk at the moment. But it looks like this, the top part. And I just layered it using some red pattern paper. I've used some gold foiled pattern paper. Um, let me just show you. I've even used some Doodlebox Santa paper with the pink base. And I have even found the red Christmassy paper with the pine tree and the deer pattern on it. And then I cut them out and then I glued them together. So I have these ready. 
and then so that's what I've been doing so I've got those so then I have so with my peppermints you guys let me show you all the big ones so I've got this one here and I've got this one here then I also have the gold glitter cardstock one and then I also have used this red holographic one and I love the look of that it's just so so pretty I love it so so much and then I've also got I've got so many honestly I, I just had so much fun so I've got this one now I use the pink pearlescent cardstock it's a really nice GSM I don't know what it is I can't remember but it's so nice and then I added that gold swirl on top this one is just uh, not a holographic this one is like the mirror type um ready swirl that's what i'll call it but for the base i actually can you see the pattern i actually used um, one of the christmas doodle bug one i think that one is also called candy cane lane i'm not sure anyway so look look at how that holographic cardstock creates a magic for this peppermint candy so you guys have to really experiment and use different kinds of uh, materials and it just changes the look of everything this is a, a glittered snowflake pattern paper which is from the doodle bug and that is actually not part of a Christmas but it's part of a winter collection that I've had and it's pink so pretty and here's another pearlescent one so those are the big ones that I've got already to use and then these are my medium size ones so i have yet again used the pearlescent pink and the glittered snowflake pattern paper with the holographic swirls and this one has an iridescent swirl can you see so pretty so i've got those to use and then i have these ones as well mini uh, mini version of the pearlescent pink and the gold then i have all of these little wee tiny ones and then i'll put them all on my oh here's another big middle size one so i have all of these and as i was um, gluing the little ones I realized that these could be the middle part of my bows that I'm making. So I am going to glue them with you guys. So I have showed you the bow die that I have cut out. So I've got like three different ones, but I like layering them with two different shades like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and for this one, I've also had a gummy bear candy set that I've found on AliExpress. So there's like the gummy bears and the swirl candies and things that comes with it. And it comes with like little gumdrops as well. I'll show you the um, the gummy bears. It like, I love the details so much. And I cut them in different um, cardstock. So cute. I love anything gummy bear to you guys so much. And then with the other mini bows that I showed you, the one that came with a spider web, well, I didn't use the spider web because I'm doing Christmassy thing. So I did these and I alternated like the gold and the pink and the red. And then when you cut that one out, you also get the middle part. And so instead of using the stitched frame part of the bow, I just glued on top um the bit that cuts out in the middle where's that one let me show you oh i'll show you like this so when you cut out the bow the top part of the um, layering piece you you cut it and then it just it looks like that right so then you have this and this so this i didn't want to waste i thought this looks pretty as it is so I decided instead of putting the border, I just glued this on top for some of them, which is like this. 
see? And I'm using some of those as well. So I am going to be gluing things with you guys. I've got the glue gun all ready to be used now, I think. So I'm just going to show you how I go about gluing things because I know that not everybody has crafted for a while. And for those of you who are just starting to have interest in crafting, if you're watching my videos, then you get to see how I put things together. So I, am, I added the glue in the middle only, and I'm gonna do that, like slightly tilted. So you get the pearlescent pink showing. Then I wanna put in the middle, the gummy bear that I die cut out, this one. I'm gonna put it right there like that. Now you can make it more dimensional by adding foam squares if you wanted to, but for these bows, I don't want to. So I have this, so pretty, oh, I love it. Okay, next one, I have this one here. I love that iridescent cardstock that I use. And it just, look, it just picks up all the details so nicely. It's just so, so pretty. And I'm gonna put this together with this one here, the snowflake glittered one. That's what I'm gonna do now. Then, slightly tilted so you get to see both colors really well and for this one i might do gold shall i do gold or shall i do the iridescent hmm. maybe the gold i think i'll go with the gold for this one so i'm just gonna add that and then the gummy bear in the middle and there's my next completed bow so pretty oh i love doing these i really really love layering things and i love utilizing all of the colors available and i absolutely love the shape so you see this one i'm gonna put this one now together with the red slightly tilted look and then you get that effect and then I am gonna use my mini peppermint candy, you guys. So I'm gonna put that on there, like that. That's what I'm gonna do. But this one, I am thinking I might wanna add a bit of foam. So I have this Fiskars Titanium Nonstick Scissors and I absolutely love it so much. It's just, it's, oh, it just saves me from cleaning the this uh, scissors i love it so so much it's such a good investment if you guys don't have that non-stick scissors you need it it's just so handy to have so i'm gonna put the mini peppermint with the bit of foam square and then you get that so pretty okay so i've got that now i'm gonna do this one now So I have this shape and then I have this bow. I'm gonna put that on there like that. But I'm thinking, hang on a minute. I need one of these. I have so many bows to put together, but I might not be doing them all like in the order that some people might do. Some people might, you know, do like certain category and then move on to the next category. But for me, I just, kind of like go with what I see on my desk. So I'm going to put that on there. And you know what I've discovered? This bow, the circle part in the middle, it actually fits the shape of this middle part so nicely. Can you see? Look, and you can just leave it like this. Or you can even add like, um, you know, gem stickers, you know, like the round crystal like gem stickers. And you could even do this. You could even do that and it'd be so pretty. You can have so much fun decorating the middle part of a bow. Trust me, you can just keep on going on and on and on. 
but this time I am doing everything Christmassy, so I want to put my pink gummy bear. Do I want to put my pink gummy bear? Or do I want to go with the iridescent? I might go with the iridescent one. So, then you put a little bit of glue there. And then you do that. So pretty. So you get a little bit of dimension and you get that pop of color, iridescent magic in the middle. So pretty. These will be so nice to gift. Love them. And then, oh, this one I've already glued. See, here's another one. Now this, you see this white one here? That's actually from Maggie Holmes Flourish or something else. I can't even remember what collection. But it had a really nice um, glittered gold touches. And I thought that as a base would be really nice instead of doing everything ready and pinky. So I did that. Then I have done this one too. See? See how you can use the same kind of colors, but then you mix and match to create some new look. And it's just really, really beautiful. Oh, this one I need to glue. So I'm going to glue. I'm going to put that at the back like that. Then... If your foam tape or foam square is nice and sticky, you can just use that without the glue gun. But sometimes I don't really trust these things. I wish I could, but because I usually send things out in a mail, far sometimes, like I have to make sure that they're really on. Okay. Now I have a red gummy bear version, the red bow. Oh, so pretty. Okay, next I want to do this one. So I've decided that I'm going to use a gold cardstock one with this uh, touches of the gold on white base on top like this. So I'm going to do that. Just a little bit of glue. And like that. See how pretty that is? And you can literally add this bow to anything, really, you guys. Just move some of these bows out. Like that. And then I need to add a peppermint in the middle for this one. So, I might go with, oh yeah, I might go with this. Yeah, that will look nice. So I need that little bit of the phone square behind my peppermint and I need to oh the glue gun string it always annoys me but what can you do you have to just live with it because you're crafty <laughs> look at this so pretty I love it and when you're finished with gluing you have to you know go through each and every one of these and pull out all of the glue string but in the meantime now this one, I might do the iridescent cardstock at the front instead of the back. I am literally just showing you guys how much magic and fun you can have by just trying all of the different colors and different ways of layering. It's just really, really fun. So I've got that. Oh, let me just glue all the things first. Okay, let me and I'll put this in the middle. And I've got this red at the front with the polka dot pattern paper. So got that. And then I have this one here which is from Prima Marketing Candy Cane Lane. I am gonna put what am I gonna put on? This one here. I'm going to put this one on there. So I need the long one now. So at the back. Glue. Oh, I think I like it this way. Right there. See, it's pretty just by itself as well. But I need to add something on there 
No, not the iridescent. It's a bit pink gummy. Pink gummy bear. Ooh. Pink gummy bear on top like that. You see the glue gun string? So I have that now. And then for this one, I need to find more gummy bears. Oh, and I have this candy cane thing too. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put the candy cane on this one. See what I mean? You can literally add anything in the middle. Oh, I just love these. Okay, next. Have I done all of the bows? I think I have used all of the bows that I have made or cut out. I think I've glued everything with you guys. You guys, so let me show you all of these again. So we did this one together. This one together. Ooh. And, oh, I need to add a peppermint for this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one will be good. So let me add... Yeah. the joyful thing about using all your wonderful goodies is that when you use them you are enjoying them they're just not sitting in the drawers and in the you know bookshelf or whatever you're actually looking at it enjoying it and it's just creating so much magic so I've got that, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed being here with me, um, layering bows together. And um, if you're not making bows this week, maybe next time when you feel like making bows, come back to my bow video and then you will be um, wanting to make something like this. You can just literally add anything in the middle and it creates a different theme. I just love it so, so much. I love anything sweet treat theme. I love Christmassy stuff. I love pinky colors as well. Glitter cast dog, iridescent magic. I love all of them. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to sharing with you guys more soon. I did cut out more birthday um, hat stuff, but I will share the decorated ones in another video. Thanks for being here with me. Bye.